greeting once again. Today we're talking about step number two in making better decisions. Now, if you remember from yesterday, the first step is to gather available information, but not to gather all available information because you, get, you can get bogged down in doing that forever and never make up your mind on what to do. The second step is when it seems so logical, you choose the best alternative. For instance, you've got all your information in front of you and you've decided that there are three different alternatives, three different ways you can go. The first one is always do nothing. Because like a very wise man says to me consistently, sometimes when you don't know what to do, the best thing to do is nothing. I know there are some people that say, no, you got to do something, do anything, keep working. It's not necessarily the case. A lot of times your best bet is to back off and do nothing. Your second option is to do something. And the third option would be to wait. So we're right now looking at how to choose, how to decide what's the best way to go. So we're gonna just go ahead and say, you're going to choose one. Now, of the alternatives, actions you can take, you look at, the, look at what you've got and you say, this is the best alternative. Of all these things I could do, now that I've decided to do something, this one here looks like it's the best way to go. Now at that point, you're still not finished. There's one more thing you have to do and it's critical. And unless you do this, you're gonna find yourself making poor decisions no matter what. You almost can't win unless you take this third step, which I will reveal to you tomorrow. This looks like it's gonna be a pretty short one. That's cool. They don't always have to be longer. <laughs> That's all I got for now. Tune in tomorrow for step three, on how to make better decisions. Until then, I'm out. I'm back. You know what I thought? That I skipped over a little bit of something there because it's very important to decide if you're going to make a decision on a course of action. You've got to look and say, should I do something? Am I better off doing something or am I better off not doing anything? Key, should I wait? If I make a decision and jump now, will I be moving too soon? Patience is a virtue that you must develop if you want to make better decisions. And an awful lot of the time, waiting, because more information will come to light or you will have different things show up in your life that may affect a decision where if you move too quickly, you won't have the opportunity to take, take those things into account. So, step one was gather information. Step two, the first part, it should be this part that I was saying right now, decide whether or not you are going to take an action or if you're going to wait or if you're going to do nothing. Then is when you can choose the best alternative. Once you've decided, yes, I'm, I will take an action or an action must be taken of these alternatives, this is the action I'm going to decide to take. Yeah, that covers it. All right, a little addendum to the video there. And I will be back tomorrow with the final piece in the puzzle of making better decisions. Till then, I'm out.